News Channel 5's Kyle Horan is monitoring budget discussions where lawmakers for those areas say it's not a good deal. Many of the lawmakers around Middle Tennessee have been supportive of Governor Bill Lee's plan to have a bond to create a new Titan Stadium here in Nashville. But there are some from the rural communities who say that this could be a tax burden on the people who live in their areas. We're now voting on House Bill 2. Budget discussions are a huge part of what committees like this one deal with every year. It's top priority, but there's not always agreement with what's right in the bill. Financing a new Titan Stadium, though a Republican-led plan, sparked murmurs of dissent. What I'm hearing from my constituents in Jackson in that area is consistently over the last couple of weeks, this doesn't make sense. This is not a good deal for the taxpayers. It's not something we should be doing. We should not be investing in someone else's property for a venture like this. It's too risky. The $500 million bond plan is Governor Bill Lee's idea. It's to be used for a new dome stadium where large events and potentially championship sports games could be held, bringing year-round value to the state. That's all according to the people who support it. But in the state's most rural areas, what would the benefit be? Representative Jerry Sexton of Bean Station says, surely not his constituents who are nearly four hours away from Nashville. Who's going to pay the bond back? Who's going to pay the 500 million back? Who's going to pay? We've already committed to pay 55 million in interest this year or in this budget. And who, who's paying that? It comes out of the directly out of the taxpayers. Other Republicans, such as Representative Patsy Hazelwood, say any burden should be offset by visitors. I'm convinced from the numbers that I've seen that the stadium will pay for itself and that it will be a positive impact on Tennessee's budget, the state budget, which if you bring dollars into the state, we all benefit now from the economic engine that is Nashville and from our other economic engines across the state, the urban areas. Kyle Horan, News Channel 5. An update here, the budget bill passed through the Finance Committee. It will head to the full House floor tomorrow.